Okay, before you even watch this, I just want to point out that this drone is only $20 on Amazon right now. I'm probably going to buy four or five of them for my kids, nieces, and nephews. Anyway, let's get to the video. All right, before playing with the kids, I want to show you guys some of the basic functionality. So you hit one button. First, you turn it on. Hold the button down until it blinks. There we go. Set it down once the light turns green. It's good for flight. It means it's calibrated. Here we go. Woo. So it has IR sensors on it that keeps it from running into things and controlling it. Put a pan on both sides, it blinks and you can do tricks by like going underneath through a flip. And then if I do it again, it'll actually go in a circle pattern. It starts losing control against grab it, flip it upside down, and it stops. Another way for it to take off, you just throw it in the air. So we'll activate the trick again. It's gonna fly in a circle pattern. You want it to go up, you put your hand under it. For it to come down, you just kind of wait and it eventually will lower it down. Whatever direction you want it to go in, you just put your hand next to it and guide it there. If you want to play catch or pass with somebody, you would do it in this way. And again, to stop it, you grab it and you flip it upside down. But yeah, pretty cool. Alright, I wanted to show you guys what happens if something goes wrong. So, we'll put it into flight. And let's say it bumps into an object. So first it has sensors and tries to correct. And it did that time. If it can't for whatever reason, it just... If it runs into something and it loses its flight pattern, it will just shut off the engine and fall down. And since it's so light, like I really do trust it to fall down without getting damaged too easily. Something does get damaged, it does have extra propellers and stuff that you can hopefully fix it. If for whatever reason things get out of calibration, you can actually do something to fix that as well. And so on the on off button, you triple click it, and it'll start blinking like that. Then you set it down on a flat surface once it turns green or blue, then it's good to go. In blue, what that means is if you just tap it once, you can alternate between green mode, which is kind of like novice, beginner, slow mode, or blue mode, which is more advanced, fast flight mode. So I've never done the blue mode. Let's see what happens. Stuff is a little zippier. So I'll try a trick. There's the flip. I'm going to get to fly in a circle here. And you get to go up. So yeah, pretty cool. Alright, the kids are super excited to play with it. Okay, you guys ready? Here it goes. Try throwing it in the air. No, no, no. You want me to do it? All right, here we go. Whoa. All right, so if you want it to move, you just put your hand next to it and go in that direction. All right, here we go. Kate's going to do it. Okay, watch this. I'll make it blink and then I'll go whoop. And I'll do a flip. Oh! Is that pretty cool? You can push the button and it'll take off from my hand. You ready? Oh, oh, it shoot it down! It. Shoot it down! Press it again. Okay, now it's landing. Alright, now it's Lane's turn. Wait, wait, wait. Today we're looking at the Snaptane SP330 Interactive Mini Drone. I have never used a Snaptane 
drone before. And this one is interesting because it has a lot of hand motion interaction things and a protective guard around it, so it should be a good drone for kids to interact with. With adult supervision, of course. So let's open it up and take a look inside. Loyalty program offer. Here's the manual. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Looks like they offer a 12 month free warranty. Let's go ahead and take this off. And then we are left with the drone itself. Let's take a look here. My first impression is that it's very shiny and very light. It's pretty cool. I'm excited to turn it on and see what happens. Let's see what's inside of this. Okay, looks like we have a charging cable. A little screwdriver, I'm assuming, so we can open it up and make some adjustments. Some extra propellers here in case anything breaks. And then, this must be the one button remote control. This is the instruction manual. But yeah, pretty cool. Looks like there's a lot of fun features with it. All right, I'm gonna plug the charger into the wall now. Looks like you got like a green indicator light just showing that they have power. And I'll plug it into the drone here. And it changes to red. So we'll see once it's charged up if it changes to a different color. All right, the lights turn green now, so I assume it's ready. Overall, I'm very impressed with this product. I highly recommend it. Where it lacks in perfection in some areas, it makes up for it in its costs and its value. Our kids enjoy it too. It says on the box for age 14 and up. I think that's appropriate for supervision, but certainly seems safe to me for a kid to interact with it. All right, hopefully y'all found this useful and that's it, thanks.